Welcome to Workout Wednesday week 52, the final challenge of the year. This week we're going to be doing something fairly straightforward with a custom visual called the Image Carousel. It'll be in keeping with the holiday themes that we've done in the past few weeks for December and we'll be obtaining photos from a public Flickr gallery um, which is under Creative Commons. So our data comes from data.sa, a South Australian government directory, which contains a link to a state library public Flickr gallery called Summer Under Southern Skies. Like this one here. And we can see this album contains pictures of South Australian um, beaches and Christmas activities in throughout time and the photos can be obtained using the Flickr API. So we can create a developer account to obtain the photos or we can use the public feed. And if we go into the public photos and videos, we can find the public feed URL. And so with this URL, we can um, query, use a number of query parameters to obtain the, some of the photos that we're after. And we can use search items such as ID to search for a single user ID. Um, bear in mind with the public feed, it will return a limited number of images, which is fine for this challenge because the image carousel custom visual will also display a limited number of images. So to find the user ID, we're just going to hit through here and come along to stream here and we can hit the share button and we should if it's along here there we go in our little embed thing if we find notepad we can find in here the user ID, which we'll put aside for later. In a new Power BI file, we can get data, search for the web connector, and enter that public feed URL we had before. And we can begin to add the query parameters. So if we remember, we can go back to the public feed and we've got query parameters. So we've got ID, which is the single user ID, which we've obtained earlier. So we can enter in our query. So query ID equals and enter in the ID number. And what we can also do is we can search using tags as well. So if we have a look, we can go into our State Library of South Australia homepage. We'll go to about and we can see that this images have tags. And there's a number of tags, so each image can have one or more tags. And we can see here we've got Australian Summer and Australian Summer Christmas, so if we hit on that tag, um, there's one photo obtaining that tag. So what we're going to use is we're going to use Australian Summer Christmas and Australian Summer as tags. So coming back in here, we'll then add tags equals and if we go here it's a 
comma delimited list of tags to filter the feed by. So we're going to enter those in. Comma. Australian Summer Christmas. And coming back, there's a tag mode which is optional. So this controls whether items have all of the tags or any, and we're going to go tag mode any. Tag mode equals any and press OK. And we'll click through and we can see we've got uploads from the State Library of South Australia tagged Australian Summer or Australian Summer Christmas and we want the list of photos which can be found in this table here. There we go, so we're going to click through on that. And next we want is the list of URLs, which we can find here. Yeah. So we'll expand those and look for the correct URL type. And what we want is the enclosure URLs like that and keeping just the columns that we need. Remove other columns, close and apply. So from AppSource, we're going to get the image carousel custom visual drag on the page Drag the image URL field into the carousel and we can turn off auto slide. And here we can manually skip through and then adjust for the number of images we want to see, the space between images. Turn auto slide back on and then increase the interval for anybody that's sensitive to motion. And uh, format as we please. All done.